All right, welcome back to another episode of Stitch Method. Today we're going to be uh, kind of doing a broad spectrum type lesson, uh, one that can be used for beginners and intermediates alike, um, people who know the concepts of the guitar but are still having a hard time making their solo sound like they're saying something. Um, and I get this question a lot. Now this lesson here is influenced a lot by two of my students, uh, Dwayne and Brett. Uh, hello guys, and you guys helped shape this lesson. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a question that I do get often and I wanted to uh, present a solution, a possible solution to you about realizing that it's not necessarily, I mean, knowing your scales and knowing your chord tones and knowing everything we, we talk about on Stitch Method or in any blues lesson really, um, that stuff, so those things are the concepts that we, that we use to play the guitar. But actually playing the guitar is part, is part of the, uh, the experience. And so what we're going to do is we are going to use timing, timing, a uh, rhythm to say everything. And there is a very famous saying, which is timing is everything. And this is no exception. So let's get right down to it. I have an E blues backing track, 12-bar uh, blues on my looper. E, right? And as this plays, I'll talk to you, there is what we call a downbeat, all right? And the downbeat is usually the quarter note, which is one beat, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You get the point. Why am I still doing this? Okay, we stop. All right, so the bass, the the the, the uh, downbeat, the um the <laughs> the most prevalent beat is the chord note, which is one uh, one note uh, uh, per beat. Okay, and so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to use the E minor pentatonic, E blues, E minor pentatonic. I'm not doing any fancy chord tone stuff. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just using this guy: 12, 15, 12, 14, 12. 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15. Uh, if you're watching this and you're playing like blues piano or flute, uh, those are the notes E, G, A, B, and D over and over again. That's the E minor pentatonic. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to play the chord notes. I'm really not going to care about the notes I hit just yet. This is about developing a new sense into your playing. You will come back to hitting the right notes at the right time and uh, everything. But listen to what it sounds like when I just hit the quarter notes and go through the pentatonic. Now rule number one of a pentatonic that I always say is that it always sounds good. So don't worry too much about what you're hitting. Just hit it on time. And so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You'll notice right away, it sounds okay. It sounds fine because you're paying attention to the drummer, to the rhythm section, you're incorporating um, all this, uh, all the rhythm with you and you're hitting the downbeats. Now it's very, very important that you do this. If, if it's hard for you to feel the rhythms, you have to count with it. You have to say it out loud through your vocal cords. You have to. You can't just say, okay, I'm gonna think about it. You have to say it. So like, don't lie to yourself. Uh, I mean, I can't tell if you're doing it, but if you wanna get better at getting generally uh, better vocal lines in your guitar, count out loud with this. Now, we're gonna move quickly. So the first thing you wanna do is just try finding a 12-bar blues and playing some chord notes to it. Number two, what you wanna do now is you wanna start introducing the next uh, beat that we find, which is what we call the, um, a swing eighth or a dotted eighth, and that is the one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two. And now, it's very important that you know how to say this. It's one, a uh, two, where the uh is falling into the next number. And those ones and twos are still those chord notes. Now we just shove something in the middle known as uh, a dotted eighth note, which is not perfectly in the center. It's not one and two and three and four and. It's one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. So what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna play the solo and I'm gonna play the chord notes and you'll hear me say them out loud. All right, this is gonna get you so much better at phrasing and playing Trust me, but you gotta stick with me. So listen to how I do the chord notes first, and then I will play uh, the eighth notes. Two, three, four, one, two, three, quarter. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, eighth. One, two, three, four, 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 quarter notes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Your mission right now is to pause this video and mix and match of those, just like I did at the end. Go one, two, three, a four, a one, a two, a three, four. Anything you can think of with those rhythms. Sorry, I turned into a robot right there. 
anything you can think of with those rhythms. Now what we're doing here is we're introducing the, the, the concept of being able to think about rhythm and, um, and timing and phrasing spontaneously. You won't have to think about this. Um, the more you do it, you'll feel it. I'm trying to kind of program your muscles and your brain and, and your feeling in your heart to realizing that you can do any of these rhythms so far, and as long as you put them in a combination of things, you will start to feel them, you'll automatically do them. Let's just keep moving forward. The next um, a rhythm that you want to study is the triplet. Okay, triplets are kind of easy to understand, hard to play, and I'll show you how to get around that. Triplets are three beats per, uh, sorry, three hits per one beat. So if I had one, two, three, four, triplet, 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 and you want to say triplet. Now, I know I'm talking fast, I'm going fast. The idea is every chord note, one, two, three, four, can have triplets, excuse me, which is triplet, 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 triplet. One, two, three, four, triplet, 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 triplet. Very, very hard to do. But you hear blues players doing a lot on one note, sliding into it, triplet, 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 triplet. You can start there. And so let me put some triplets in. First, I'm gonna do chord notes. Then I'm gonna do swing eighths. Then I'm gonna do triplets. One, two, three, four, quarter notes. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, triplet, 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 so, so far we have three rhythmic, um, or three beats. We have a chord note, we have a swing eighth, or a dotted eighth note as we call it, and you have a triplet. Now, the idea is you want to kind of say these things out loud in an E minor pentatonic as you go. And the more and more you do it, all of a sudden your mouth's going to kind of close and you're just going to start playing. So what I'm going to do right now, we have more to discuss, is I'm going to play a very brief solo, just in my E minor pentatonic, nothing flashy. I'm not really paying attention to the chord tones or the ones of the ones or anything like that, or the fours and the fours. I'm just playing the pentatonic. I'm going to try and use these different rhythms to create some sort of movement in the solo that, catch it, that catches your ear. Here we go. <laughs> just any combination that I was thinking of, of chord notes and triplets and swing eighths. And so what you want to do is you want to try and use this and you want to say them out loud and you want to mix and match. You want to pretend you have a, a Yahtzee cup filled with different types of rhythms. You shake it, it comes on the table, you, you look at them, you play them and you play them through a pentatonic. If you want to take a piece of paper and write down like randomly like one, two, three, a four, a triplet, triplet, three, four, one, a two, three, triple it, and see if you can just play that. What's gonna happen is your body's gonna loosen up and you're not gonna think about, um, you, you're not gonna think about your chord tones, you don't need to think about your scale. There's this balance of knowing everything here and getting this stuff out. And it's usually that's this stuff, like the heart, the rhythm that is, that, that people want to play and feel connected to the music and it comes from this type of playing where it loosens you up enough where you can play whatever, whatever rhythm is in your head. You know, when you think about language, um, language is, is just a bunch of sounds cut into different rhythms and syllables. And it's the same thing for music. And so, you know, there are blues players that will blow your mind with just a simple pentatonic and it's their rhythmic phrasing. And so I want you to start here. I want you to start with quarter notes. I want you to do swing eighth notes and triplets. And you got to say them out loud while you're doing them until you can do them. I'll do it one more time and I'll try. I will say it out loud for a little bit, but then I'll, you know, shut up. But you can hear that all I'm doing is feeling my rhythm right now. And I'm really trying to um, say something by keeping the rhythm spicy. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. One, two, three, four. Sorry, I lost my back track for a second. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, a two, a three, a four. One, a two, a three, a four. A one, a two, a three, a four. One, two, three, four. Triple the, triple the, triple the, triple the. One, two, three, four. One, a two, a three, a four. <laughs> my, my 
backtrack's not loud enough. Here we go. Uh, he'll do one, two, three, four. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So now I'm going to be quiet so I can hear the backtrack. And you just listen for those combinations. Nothing more than me thinking about rhythms. quick notes for you because this is already a long video. Um, you don't have to, if you notice, you don't have to play a different note per rhythm. You can sit and go one, two, three, four if you want to. For the swing eights, you can go one, a two, a three, a four. For the triplets, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. So you can just get that right hand feeling it. Or you can move. You can go one, <laughs> one, two, three, four. Or one, a two, a three, a four. Or triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. Whatever works for you, and then you can combine them. One, two, three, four. One, a two, a three, a four. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. And what I just did right there is I moved on some, I stayed on some. But you really have a lot to do in terms of breaking or cracking the glow sticks that are inside of you and letting your natural rhythm come out. Instead of thinking about where to go on the fretboard, you want to start thinking about your picking hand and, and how to present some rhythm. So I hope this helps somewhat. I'm going to go... Uh, because I got a lot of stuff to do today. Hope you enjoyed the, the video and the new uh, background. I'm still working on the background, and uh, that's pretty much it. All right, gonna go. Have a great day, guys. Bye bye.